Hey everyone, I'm super excited today because Notability finally dropped Notability 9. So it introduces a whole bunch of new cool features. So let's go ahead and take a look at what those features are. So when you open up Notability after updating it, the first thing you'll see is that it gives you a brief overview of the three big new features that they've introduced in the new version. So first up, they have shapes where you can draw a shape and then you can hold your pen down after you've drawn the shape and it'll make your shape into a perfect looking shape. And then you can manipulate it from there by adding some fill, changing the outline color, etc. So a really powerful shape tool that I've been asking for for a very long time. And then they also introduced a partial eraser, which is not something that I was really asking for, but it's a really welcome addition to Notability and it should have been there from the beginning. And with the partial eraser, now it won't erase your whole stroke. You can erase parts of your drawing. So you can get little lines in your drawing if you need to. And that's a very basic feature that should have been there from the get-go, but unfortunately was not. And the great thing about the partial eraser is that you can break up your strokes into different pieces like they've shown here. And that gives you the fle flexibility to change the color, the thickness, and do whatever you want with each individual stroke. So that's really useful when you need to make like a semicircle or something. Then you can just draw a regular circle and then make two breakpoints and then you'll have two arcs basically. So the final thing they've added is image rotation and cropping where you can basically rotate an image which is finally something that is has come to notability and it's that's very useful and they have also change the cropping tool. I don't remember what the cropping was like before, but the new cropping tool does seem to be a little bit more streamlined and cleaner. So let's go ahead and jump right into it and take a look at it for ourselves. So as you can see here, I have a blank drawing. So let's go ahead and draw a shape and hold it down. So here's a triangle and there you go. So now from here, you can change the dimensions of the triangle, the lengths of it. So if I want to make it more, look more like an equilateral triangle, I can do that. And you can see it kind of snaps into place at 180 degrees. So that's really nice. So this pink tool here is also new and they hadn't, they didn't mention it, but this is useful when you're aligning it with something above. So what that means is, let me go ahead and show you. So if we move the triangle up here, now when you move your triangle or any object, you can align it with what you have above. So right here, I can center it there and now it's centered. That's really neat and a really useful feature. So let's go ahead and try changing this up and see what it aligns with. See, so now I'm aligning with the right edge of the photo I have above it. So let's go, let's try some other shapes. So they said you can do basically any shapes. So let's do a diamond. So you just draw it and then you hold your pen down. So that looks good. I mean, it's just basically a square, right? So that's not exciting. We can do a circle. They had the circle in the last update, but now what's neat with the circle is you can change the size really easily like this. And again, the aligning tool is coming up and letting you align the shape. So that's really neat. Okay, let's go crazy with it. Let's draw a really crazy shape. So as long as I connect it, it should make it into some sort of shape. There you go. So it made all the lines straighter. As long as you make some sort of shape that connects back to the point where you started, it'll fix it for you. And then from here, this is really neat. Now you can really go in and change all these points. So this is a much more powerful shapes tool than you would see something in like GoodNotes 5 or Note Shelf 2. So this is, this is really incredible. So the benefit of having a shapes tool, you might be wondering, is it's really nice now to make a table so you can go ahead and just draw a square or a rectangle like that. And then you can add your lines. So you can make some sort of chart if you really need to. And another thing that's really useful is that I, when I'm doing math or when I'm writing out answers, I always like to box my answer. So now it'll be really easy to box my answer. And one thing that I really appreciate actually for the shapes tool is that you don't need to click a dedicated ink to shape button like you do in OneNote and GoodNotes 5. You just have to hold your pen down and it automatically recognizes that you want to convert your ink to a shape. So even though Notability is very late to the game, they are really coming out with features that are really well thought out and are going to be more intuitive than some other big note taking apps. So I, I really appreciate that on Notability's part. Better late than never 
And if you're going to be late, you might as well make it better as well. So I'm extremely thrilled with the shapes tool. So let's check out the eraser now. So here you can see if you click on the eraser twice, you have a whole bunch more options. And right now I'm on the whole eraser. So I don't know if the different thicknesses will affect the whole eraser. So let's check that out. You can see the little erase I made is pretty big. Now let's change it to a small one and see if it becomes smaller. Yeah, it does. So it does change what the eraser looks like, but it doesn't actually affect it because you will be erasing just a stroke. But this is nice because if you have a really small stroke and a very thin ink, you can use the thinner eraser now to get rid of it. So for example, let's change the pen tool to the thinnest, zoom in, and put a little dot. So now what I can do is if I have stuff around it and I want to erase the whole dot, I can switch the eraser to the smallest one and just click on the dot and it'll go away. So that's really neat. Okay, so now the coolest feature though for the eraser is the partial erase. And here we can erase it just like you would on paper. So this is really nice to do too if you ever have drawn a figure in your notes. I've, I do this all the time. But if you have a figure and you just want to erase a little part that's a little imperfect, it would erase the whole stroke. It was very difficult to do that. But now I can just erase these little edges if I really wanted to for whatever reason. And you can go ahead and do that. And of course, you can change the eraser to make it bigger. So we can add big gaps here. And what I was saying is that it changes this. So now you have individual strokes. So you can move each of these strokes around just as you would expect. So that, that's fantastic. That's a really great feature. And one more UI kind of detail that I noticed is at the top, everything is blue now, except for things that have color. So the eraser and the pen are going to be the color of the color that you chose. But even the lasso tool is blue um, and the eraser is all blue. The text was always blue and the pointer was always blue. But they just made it more uniform, which is really nice to see. Okay, so the last few things that we can go over are the improved image tools and the new dotted papers. So let's go ahead and add an image. Okay, so here's a picture of the sky that I took when I was in a flight. And you can see on the right side that we have this rotate button. So this is such an easy to use rotating tool. That's fantastic. So a lot of the times you may have to take a picture that is not in the proper orientation. So now you can easily rotate that. The resizing tool is good, but it's still not great. I really think they should have added a feature where you can change the width and the height of the photo instead of just scaling it up and down proportionally. But I guess most people want it to be proportional anyway, so it's not a huge deal, but I would like to see a dedicated width and height adjustments on the photo editing. And then they also updated the crop feature. So I, someone can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not sure if they even had a crop feature before. I thought they did. This feature, it was definitely not like this if they did have a crop feature. But this is very easy to crop and use. You can move this around to crop it as you would like. So let's just get the sunset and the clouds and crop it that way. Great. So that, that looks great. One thing I've noticed though is they did round the edges of the photo here. So I'm not sure why that happens. It's not a huge deal, obviously. I mean, actually, I even think it looks good, but I'm just a little confused as to why they would do that. But that is totally fine. Okay, lastly, we can go over some of the new papers that they added, specifically the new dotted papers. So you can see here, there are four different dotted papers with different widths between the dots, different spacing between the dots. So dotted paper is nice for people who want to graph. If you don't want to use graphing paper, sometimes it's a nice alternative. And it's also good for design work in general. So if you've ever had to design, you can see that sometimes you do it on dotted paper because then you can connect your lines very quick, easily because you just have a whole bunch of dots everywhere. So that's really great to see that they added dotted paper. Not something that I would necessarily be using all that often, but it's still great that they're updating features constantly. So this has been Notability 9. I'm super pumped for the updates they've made. I still think there are a few more things that Notability can do to make their experience better. And I really hope that these are addressed in the future. If you want to know what I'm talking about, you can see my top five Notability wishlist video, or you can even check out my five things Good Notes 5 does better than Notability video. But a lot of those things and some of those videos have now been addressed in this update and the update before. So great job to Ginger Labs. They're doing a fantastic job. 
Let me know what you guys think of the new notability update. Will it make you switch from GoodNotes 5? I think it's a pretty compelling update and notability is pretty good at their updates. So let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed this quick run through notability version 9 and I will see you in my next video.